I'm excited for this cruise night. This is Tasmania's wild west coast, one of the last remaining untouched wilderness areas on the planet. A land of dense rainforests, incredibly tall trees, the mighty Gordon River, pristine beaches, wallabies, wombats, and the elusive Tasmanian devil. And we still haven't seen a Tassie devil. The best way to experience the wonders of Tasmania's wilderness is by boat. We went on World Heritage Cruises Gordon River Cruise, and here's what it was like. Today we are in the town of Strawn. So this afternoon we're actually doing a cruise down to Sarah Island where we have a guided tour there. Strawn is on Tasmania's west coast where the Gordon River flows into Macquarie Harbour. And the Gordon River cruise showcases this area perfectly, cruising through the harbour to the ocean at Hell's Gates, visiting the ruins of Sarah Island Penal Colony, then up the Gordon River to stroll through the ancient forest at Heritage Landing. This is the boat we're about to get on. We're in the fancy upper deck. Looking forward to this. So they're just putting all the meals on, including my vegan meal and your pescatarian meal. We've just washed the windows. I know, they're really looking after us. Yeah. Boat, which incidentally set the uh, world record for towing 145 water skiers behind it back in 2012. Wish I had seats this roomy on a plane. Mm. We've moved to the outdoor seating to get our primo spot. Primo, even more primo might be up there. Was there seats up there? I guess. I think we'll ask her when she's finished doing the thing. That's the cap. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, look at these seats, Nigel. Yeah, yeah, that's a guy. Be cool. We can actually um, be invited in to uh, watch the captain do his thing. So we're about to pull out. We waved farewell to the van for a while and headed out towards the open ocean. Very windy. Might be better sitting there, yeah. might be a bit less windy. Make the port viable. Much larger ships, maybe 10,000 tonne or more, are required to uh, 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 go less through windy. Yeah. the Kelly Channel and it's simply it was so cool that we could move around the boat wherever we wanted and particularly to go in and watch the captain at work. And we're going to uh, talk a lot about Hugh and Pine today, but the tree became protected during the 1970s, putting the end of harvest of Hugh and Pine logs, closure of sawmills and loss of jobs occurred and it affected our little town of Straw dramatically. The first point of interest is Hell's Gates, a narrow opening from the ocean into Macquarie Harbour named by convicts on their way to Sarah Island, which was considered hell on earth. Cool that we've been able to get through, hey. I know, that, yeah. It's not every not every uh, cruise goes through the, the gap. No. Man, it, it's certainly yeah. What a challenge getting through through there. stop was the penal colony of Sarah Island where we had a guided tour of the ruins 
we learned how this place of brutality, floggings and hangings became a very productive shipbuilding yard. Walking in the footsteps of convicts. You, you didn't want to be here. No. Just no, learning, learning about the floggings that went on. 50 lashes was enough to kill a person mm. and be dead by 35. Because they had this whip called the cat of nine tails, mm. which was like a whip and there was like nine pieces of leather that came off it and each one was tied in a knot at the end. Yeah, so that it would um, cause more ripping, yeah. more momentum. Yeah. And they're also saying that uh, they would let the, the leather strips uh, dry <coughs> overnight with the, and, and the salt crystals would you know, attached to the, um, uh, the lashes causing even more um, torture. It would sting, but it would also Maybe like cleanse. cleanse and disinfect. Yeah, I guess. Mm. That was nice of them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> A place of security for the restraint of the most incorrigible. Our guide was brilliant. She told us all about what life was like for the convicts, the guards and their families who lived on Sarah Island. The solitary confinement cells. Three feet wide, six feet long, six feet deep to resemble a grave. It says on this board, 14 days oh, yeah. on bread and water. So we're back on the boat now after our little walk around um, Sarah Island. Feeling very educated. Yeah, that, that was so good. Thoroughly we learned interesting. All about the convict history of the island. So much intrigue and yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and yeah, naughtiness. Yeah, quite an amazing story. Mm. Not not just from the convicts. There was naughtiness uh, from the uh, authorities. Oh mm. yeah, the officer and the goat. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news. Um. Um, anyway. <laughs> So, now we're back on the boat, I can see all those bento boxes over there with water bottles in them, thinking that they will be bringing us a dinner very soon. Lunch or dinner is included in the price of your ticket, but if you want a wine, you'll need to buy it from the bar and pay with cash. That's me, mate. That's, that's, that's very much. I don't suppose you have any ch uh, Tabasco sort, chilli sauce or anything, right? No, I don't yeah, think we do, I, no, That's no. all right. Uh, Nigel has the pescatarian. Salmon without any chicken. Oh, that little, I thought it was salmon, it was pumpkin. Pumpkin, is Yeah, maybe not. Oh, yeah. That looks delicious. While we ate, the captain's commentary taught us about the Huon pine industry. After dinner, we went outside to enjoy the beautiful World Heritage Wilderness as we cruised along the Gordon River. It's hard to believe, looking out the window, that we've had 150 years of timber getting occurring along the Gordon and Franklin River <coughs> corridor. So you wouldn't think so by looking at it. Check out the map. We took a walk through this dense forest at Heritage Landing and we saw some of these centuries old Huon pine trees here. Yeah, so that's a Huon pine. Goodness me, I don't know how many thousand years that thing is. I know. Yeah. It's so big. That's all part of the tree, is it? It looks like it, yeah. It's growing funny because it's trying to get out. It's a bit gimped. It's a bit gimped. <laughs> Before we'd boarded the boat, we visited an historic sawmill in Strawn. We watched an old vertical saw in action and learned why the Huon pine was so prized by shipbuilders. The Huon pine has a natural oil in it, which is like a... a um, uh, insect repellent. Mm -hmm. So the shipbuilders loved it because um, that was always the, um, the, the problem back in the day of building um, wooden timber ships was the, was the uh, you know the, the ringworm, the, and... yeah, the insects that would mm -hmm. bore into it and turn a turn a beautiful ship into a sponge in a matter of um, 
you know, years, years ago. This one's the blackwood. Look at that bit. How's this in here? It's getting pretty dark, isn't it? I know. It's a bit spooky, Nigel. Well, it was, it was still like a good two hours till sunset. I know. It just it's, never gets it's, light. It's almost here. like a just turned a switch there. It just went yeah. suddenly dark. It's very damp in here too, isn't it? Mm. It has been so <coughs> wonderful to walk through the forest here. We're back on the boat and we can't stop yawning. I think Nigel's going to go to sleep. I think Sue might go to sleep too. The journey back was quick, but there was still time for some fun. There you go, Sue was trying to convince me to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Yeah. So here we are up in the, I don't know what they call them, the bridge, the bridge wheelhouse. I'm, I'm teaching Daniel how to drive the boat. He, he's doing pretty good. We're going in a very straight line, straight towards that mountain there. <laughs> the old girls back there that one they won't necessarily be so straight when they get off the boat. Oh, no. They're having a good time. <laughs> Yeah, that's well. That's the tip. Yeah, if you want to um, yeah. get plastered, bring heaps of cash. Bring cash. Well, not necessarily plastered. If you want a drink, we yeah. had one. Or a snack. We ran out of do re me. Yeah. Um, simply because the you, we're out of reception most of the time, so the FPOS machines yeah. won't work. So you do need cash on board the boat. But it's been an awesome voyage. Yeah, it has really yeah, been great. No, I've just been very excited yeah. learning all about the motors in the boat. Four Scania 900 horsepower engines. With that, you're going to need a pretty big fuel tank. Have a guess. I told you. I think it's like 15,000 litres. You're right, it is. <laughs> that costs a lot to fill. Yeah, yeah. And the top speed of this thing is 33 knots. We're just cruising along at 29 knots. Time to get off. Bye <laughs> bye. Bye everyone, thank you so much. Bye, thank you. Oh, friends, that How's was that excellent. Have a chance. How's that sunset Make now? Make sure you do the red boat. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> That was, that, that was really good, eh? Your beanie. Yeah, was, that was excellent. Hang yeah. on. We met some new friends today. <laughs> this is the Amanda fans. and Dave. I always wear my beanie, so... Oh my gosh, look, you've even got, got some What's merch. That? <laughs> got some merch. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, it's quite chilly now yeah. we've got back in the van. Hats have been replaced with beanies. Mm, we've got beanies on. <laughs> <laughs> boat was amazing. Yeah, that cruise was well worth it. And it's worth spending the extra money, I think, to... Um, it's $200, by the way. Yeah, $150 for the cheapest seats, $200 for the most expensive. It's worth spending the extra money to sit on the window, I think. Even though we didn't spend all our time in our seat, um, it was nice to have that window seat. I mean, there is an option if, you know, if you just want to spend $150, um, you're still allowed to have access to the um, seating on the upper decks outside and as you'll see um, into the um, the cockpit kind of drive the boat yeah um, does the 150 cover for me meal as well yes they get a meal but not Still afternoon meal. tea or morning yeah tea. well it's just i mean it's a cup of tea and a and a, and a scone yeah <coughs> um, muffin but which was very nice by the way <coughs> yeah there you go there's an option Saves you 50 bucks and um, you can still get good views. But if it's raining, um, which should quite often happen, we, we got lucky with the weather today. Then obviously uh, the window seat upstairs would be better. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. No, it's good. So much information and the guys did a great job with commentary. Made it entertaining, a bit of banter. And the, um, the guided tour at Sarah Island was incredible. Yeah, really sets us up tomorrow, doesn't it, for the play. Yeah, we're uh, looking play. forward to the play. Well, what a great day in Strawn. I'm really looking forward to exploring a bit more tomorrow. 
We've spent the last couple of days staying here in the RV park at the Strawn Golf Club. It's $10 a night to park. You go into the building here and just in around here, there's a little office which is open 24 seven. It's $10 cash. You fill out the form, pop your money in the envelope in the slot and take the green part of the form and put that on your windscreen. There is water here, which is just on the, this corner of the building and a toilet around the side. Now the campers are quite packed in here as we have been pretty much everywhere in Tassie, but remember it is peak season. So today is the 12th of January, still very, very busy here. So there's our van. You can probably see it just through the trees. This play, The Ship That Never Was, is notable for being the longest running play in Australia. It's been going for 30 years and six days, the lady in the information centre told us this morning. But 30 years, not the same actors playing it the whole time. Um, and I've also read reviews that just say it's hilarious. So we're ready for our turn at the play, The Ship That Never Was. Oh, you got a ticket. Got Wait, tickets. Yeah, nice. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Enjoy the flight. Thanks. Alright, you looking forward to it? Very much so. Yeah, but I don't know what Thank to you. expect. Um, I'm pretty excited to uh, get into this play. First play in... A couple of years. The Ship That Never Was tells the story of the last ship that was built on Sarah Island. We won't give too much away, except to say there was plenty of audience participation and it was hilarious. An absolute must-do in Strawn. Tickets are $25 from the Visitor Centre. He's going to take us there. Liberty! Oh! We're still we're laughing. Still giggling, we're still giggling. <laughs> that was, yeah. <laughs> you got to do it. It was funny, yeah. The ship well, that never was. So well done. Yeah. So, I was expecting a whole bunch of um, actors to see two guys. Yeah, well, they broke in the <laughs> audience. That was like the fun yeah, of it. That was, that was the fun part. Yeah, they did it so well. Yeah, yeah. it was so good. Yeah. Full house here in the theatre in Strawn. Yeah. Um, yeah. You see why it's been going for 30 years, eh? Exactly, yeah. yeah big success. Well done, guys. Yeah, we l absolutely loved it. And if you come to Strawn, you really need to come along and see the ship that never was, yeah. the play. The West Coast has some of the best beaches in Tasmania, and this is one of the few places in the state where you can drive on the beach. Of course we had to go. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this. Pretty epic location, eh? Look at where we are. We hope you've enjoyed this video as much as we are enjoying Tasmania. If you want to see more of our Tasmania road trip, check out this video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.